Hello guys! Welcome to Science Class! My name is Jesuit Angelo Mercado, but you can call me Jello for short. Come and join me and let's explore the wonders of science! Let's see what the base adventure brings us! Oh, we're here at our first destination! Welcome to your first destination! Have you ever wondered how refrigerators and air conditioners produce coldness when electricity is supplied? How about cars produce movements by burning fuel? These things were based on thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is the study of the relationship between heat, work, temperature, and energy. The flow of energy from one form to another is the focus of thermodynamics. The main idea is that the heat is a sort of energy that correlates to a certain amount of mechanical labor. Did you know that thermodynamics is derived from a Latin word therm which means heat and dynamics which means force? To summarize, it is the ability of heat to do work. Now proceed to our second destination. Welcome to your second destination. The laws of thermodynamics helps us to understand why energy flows in a certain direction and in a certain way. The first law is the law of energy conservation. Heat is a form of energy as with all other forms of energy. It follows the law of energy conservation. It means that the heat energy cannot be created or destroyed but only transferred from one area to another and from one form to another. For example, a coal. For you, it is just a type of rock. But for us scientists, this rock generates heat that can create energy. How? Observe this video clip and you will understand how a coal generates heat energy and convert it into electrical energy. Entropy means disorder. The second law of thermodynamics states that the universe's disorder always increases. As the universe's disorder increases, the energy is transformed into a less suitable form. Therefore, the efficiency of any process will be always less than 100. This law is used to determine whether a process is spontaneous or not. For example, is a hot coffee. The heat energy dispersed in a hot coffee moves from a less entropy to a higher one. Entropy explains why heat energy flows from hot to cold and not the other way around. The third and last law of thermodynamics states that as temperature approaches absolute zero, the entropy of a system approaches a constant minimum. This means that any substance with a temperature greater than absolute zero must have a positive entropy and that the material or substance requires a certain amount of energy to raise its temperature. For example, it'll take more time to warm a wooden glass than an aluminum glass because aluminum is a better conductor than wood. So that's it. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful adventure. Until next time, bye!